ADMSLC.com ADMSLC.com If I compare it with the hollow cylinder, as you see here, I have one M R square. Right for the hollow cylinder. Why? Actually, these two masses, this mass is almost equal to this mass. I have two M. But here, the I is one M R square, and here I is half M R square. Why this half? Because like I distribute this mass from here to here. So I have, I decrease the moment of inertia because the moment of inertia is depending on the R. So when I distribute mass here, so I make R small, small sometimes, right? So this, as a result, will give me small moment of inertia. The total moment of inertia. I mean, if the mass, I distribute it here, like this, okay? So like what? Like I produce some small amounts of moment of inertia. I take from the big amount of moment of inertia and put it here, mean I make it small. That's why I expect less moment of inertia and this is logic. Now solid cylinder, it's half. But the hollow cylinder, it's one. Why? Because all my mass is far. But here my mass is between zero and R. Do you get the point? This is the thing, because I distribute the mass. Now, if I take this, and now I remove mass from here, like this, like this, and remove mass from here like this, and make it as a ball, okay? Make it as a ball as, is what? Mean removing masses, right? From here, from here, from here, from here. Removing masses mean what? Mean this is losing off moment of inertia, because I remove mass, right? I decrease mass. So I will use the same idea. Also I will, this is the, the solid sphere. Actually it's originally it's what? It's solid cylinder. And I remove mass from here. Okay? This is the, this is the moment of, this is the solid sphere. Okay? So I remove mass from here, I remove mass from here, and I remove mass from here. So I produce what? Produce solid sphere. Okay? So what I expect, I expect the moment of inertia of solid sphere less than the solid cylinder. Okay, I will use the same thing. Also, I will make it as a hollow cylinder. But now my hollow cylinder, I mean, I will make this is hollow cylinder. Okay, and this is another hollow cylinder, and this is another hollow cylinder. But now my, my H is changed from 0 to H, from 0 to R actually. My H is, is changed from 0 to R. I mean, my R it's changed, small r changed from 0 to r, and my h also changed from 0 to r. So I will use the same uh, idea of equations, okay, and substitute dv, I will not, this is all mentioned in the document, so you can check it later, because I don't want to spend time with this, okay. So I will get the moment of inertia of the solid sphere is what? This is point, this is point 0.5, right? And this is point 0.4 m r squared. And this is logic. Where I miss this point 0.1 m r squared? Because I remove masses. So I lose this point 0.1 m r squared. Clear? Now you understand me. If I am asking you, what's the moment of inertia of this body? This body is what? Like solid cylinder. Like solid cylinder. Same. Right? Like solid cylinder. This is solid cylinder. Solid disk means solid cylinder. So I have the same moment of range. It's half m r squared. Do you get the point? Yes. This is the thing. Actually, this mass and this mass is almost the same. But here I separate mass like I press this. Okay, I separated the mass to make it. Okay, now what do you expect? I have the same mass. Okay, and the same shape. So if I calculate the moment of inertia as numbers, I mean substitute numbers, this is half m r squared, so I have half m here and half m here is the same. And then uh, what? r squared. So do I get the same moment of inertia? This is greater, greater, right? Why? Because R is bigger. 
I have the same shape give me half so moment of inertia depends on three parameters the shape and this is the coefficient of m r square as you see here what you have you have one right here what you have you have half here what you have you have point four this depending on the what shape. on the shape and what and the m if I have bigger m so I have big moment of inertia right and r if I have big r so I have big moment of inertia is that clear? so this is the three parameters effect on my moment of inertia clear? today we'll use this formula as expected value ok we'll measure the mass of this we'll measure the mass of this mass of this and mass of this and we'll count the radius by this you know how to use it Huh? we'll do it together today ok but actually for R I gave you the R already ok the rest is the masses so we'll measure the masses ok just to uh, decrease the time but you can do with this so I will find this and this expected value from where I get the practical value from experiment number 9 how? In experiment number 9, you found chi or kappa, if you remember. Right? Yes. And you found this relation that t square, this is number 5, that t square is equal for pi square over kappa, and this is the restoring spring constant, right? Restoring torque constant experiment and this is I right so I can use this equation to find I practically with the same device so I will say okay so I calculated is equal what is equal kappa to the 4 pi square with what with t square so I will calculate the time for 5 oscillations then divide on 5 this will give me time of 1 oscillation by it this give me time of 1 oscillation substitute kappa that you find it in the in the experiment number 9 that's why as I said in, in last week keep the position for the experiment number 10 because each device has its own kappa okay so use the kappa that you find it from experiment number nine or we said sometimes we said chi okay restoring third constant okay y you know this and we'll measure this so it's easy to find this right it's easy to find this that's it so th I will get what I will get the calculated value for for what for the uh, solid sphere for the solid disk ok for the hollow cylinder and for the solid cylinder and practical work and expected this is the expected and the expected work sorry this is the expected work and then compare between them as a percentage R we don't have a graph paper today we don't have graph paper just have the calculation give me the percentage error and we'll see so first of all I will measure the masses of these materials so please write the, these things and correct it in the document because in the document we have maybe we have wrong values of the masses but actually the R is the same that's why I don't need to measure the R I will measure the masses only ADMSLC.com ADMSLC.com